everybody welcome back to this channel it's your friend boys monarchs again i hope you guys are doing well yeah as you see no i'm not in the forest you know it's inside au inside andra university yeah you know indians like trees and all so yeah it's not in the forest so. <laughs> all you see here is au andra university so brev today's topic is about someone who asked me uh how to come here to study what is the ways because there is a lot of ways to come to here to study you watch my video about how to come here to study how to study in india something like that yeah and he asked me to explain a little bit because he don't know the process uh about come here to study there is a lot of ways to come here to study first of all i will give you like three ways three ways that i'm uh, i know for sure you can come through that was to study in india here the first way is the first way to come in india for study is through self-paced study i already talked about that but you know people don't get when you when 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 you talk so you have to you know repeat yourself the first way to come to india to study is through self pay find a university apply get admission do your paperwork through the embassy and all and come to india uh for study though this is the first one this is the first way to come to india for study get admission like find a university that you want that you like because there is a lot of university in india here but be careful because it's not all of them that are true university there are fake university in india here and you have to be careful it's either you ask someone who know uh the university or you just like do your research about the university otherwise you will buy fish inside the ocean so yeah be careful so this is the first way look for university apply get admission if you get the admission if you have the requirement get the admission actually i'm in the rooftop so you know yeah uh get the admission and uh yeah do your paperwork through the embassy and come to india that's the first one now there is scholarship option the scholarship option is two ways that i know yeah because i cannot uh talk about something that i don't know yeah there is two uh scholarship option that i know the first one is uh sii study in india study in india is uh the indian government uh sponsored scholarship that allows you to study in india but they only give you three thousand five hundred dollars a year and it's once uh with this scholarship there is no monthly stipend there is no uh, book allowance there is nothing with this three thousand five hundred dollars us dollars you have to pay your school fee with you have to uh spend with everything it's like your your rent your daily uh your daily expenditures yeah everything you know you have to remove everything in this 15 in this three thousand five hundred dollars if you cannot help yourself with that yeah don't come to don't come to, to uh, through study in india find another way so the other way of coming india of, uh, uh, coming in india to study is what i pass through iccr iccr is indian council something something relationship yeah it's the relationship between indian government and other other countries government and mostly uh, for african there is for african especially uh, they say icc are under african scholarship scheme yeah if you are uh, afghanistan there is other things there but for africans i'm talking about african because uh, because i'm african so for africans there is africans uh, icc under african scholarship scheme you just type icc here they will the, you you will know what i'm talking about so this scholarship allows you to study in india for free they're paying for your tuition fees uh first of all first of all before you apply you you can apply through their portal you upload all the required document there if you got accepted by the university and the slot allowed to your country by uh, uh by icc here to your embassy if you meet the requirement your embassy will select you and uh, allot you a scholarship if they allot you the scholarship first of all they will pay for your air for your air fares like your your your, your plane ticket 
secondly when, when once you when you reach in india here uh iccr will take care of you means they will uh how can i call it they will take care of your your, your tuition fees it's like they will give you stipend per month i think for for a bachelor student is eighteen thousand rupees and uh, for master is twenty thousand rupees something like that and for PAZ, I think it's 22 or 20, uh, 22, between 22 and 23,000 rupees. And also, if you stay in hostel, you don't get, um, you will not get uh, a rent money. But if you decide to stay outside, they will, they will give you uh, a rent money. But it depends on which apartment you go uh, and look for. For example, for bachelors, they will give you uh 5500 yeah i think so 5500 but sometimes depend on the cities if you live in, in metropolitan cities like bangalore or mumbai or delhi you can you know maybe five five hundred different they can give you maybe six six thousand for bachelor for master i think it's seven thousand yeah seven thousand and uh, for phd i don't know but i think it's more than that maybe ten thousand something like that yeah and like everything is is good like per month you get you you getting uh book a lot not book a lot when you get you getting stipend and uh yeah it's it's all you have to pay by yourself is i think insurance but does also depend on the university and also depend on the city where you're living in so yeah that's all i know about come to study in india and also there is other people who get sponsored by uh by I don't know like their government or by a company where you need to come to study in india here and like you know the company taking care of you and all and all and all and all yeah but those three major things i know only those three major is either you come in india to study by yourself or you come through uh, uh study study in india or you passing through uh icc yeah yeah icc scholarship and i think icc scholarship is the best is the best scholarship to come to study in india here because once you have icc scholarship you don't stress out like you know you stay in hostel if you don't want to stay in hostel you moving out depend on what you what you want but for me i recommend people to stay in hostel if the hostel is good yeah because outside sometimes there is a you know there is some pity problem there so stay in the hostel get your 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 monthly stipend you know the monthly stipend is good you know eighteen thousand for for a student a bachelor student is is good it's not that much but it's it's, it's good it can you know help you to manage in india here uh because because india getting expensive now but still you can manage with this eighteen thousand you know yeah you can manage with this eighteen thousand for master also twenty thousand i think you can manage with that and uh, yeah you're good to go that's the way i know and you can pass through that and come and study in india otherwise i don't know but i know there is other possibility but this one here that's what i know self pay self pay uh study in india or iccs scholarship but i recommend you to apply for iccs scholarship yeah because if you get it you okay thank you to watch that video hope you guys learned something for this video here yeah please watch my video and uh, you know find your answer there do not like come back again and ask me the same question because i think i repeat myself like you know end of now you know yeah for those who test me on uh, on instagram yeah watch the video and uh, yeah find your answer so that you can manage later thank you and see you guys in the next video have a great day don't forget to like this video share and subscribe be part of east monarchist family peace out Welcome to East Monarchist, the French boy.